Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, this ROM today is going to be a stock ROM. Uh, it is uh, Android 7. Uh, and this is also going to be my, uh, my first video um, or review coming off of my Nexus 6P. Uh, I've got to say I really, really love this phone. Um, it was a hard choice between this one and uh, the OnePlus 3. Uh, I was considering it. Uh, a lot of my decision had to go with uh, network. Uh, I am with Verizon. Uh, I can't get the OnePlus 3 to work on Verizon. Uh, the Nexus 6P and the Nexus uh, phones will work on pretty much any carrier. Uh, they have both CDMA, GSM uh, radios in them. So it was just a matter of me throwing in my SIM card out of my Nexus 6 and away we went. So uh, it's great. Um, I did use WUGS Fresh Toolkit. Uh, that's WGS. Uh, F-R-E-S-H. Uh, you can find it on XDA. Um, I used it uh, to do all of my uh, unlocking, you know, unlock the bootloader, uh, stuff like that. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's an outstanding uh, uh, toolkit. A lot of time and effort went into making it. Um, so anyways, uh, this is going to be a review on Android 7. I'm sure you guys have seen uh, a lot of other reviews uh, on YouTube. Uh, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Uh, I just figured I would show you this is a custom ROM. Uh, I'm going to show you, uh, actually, I'm going to go to XDA, uh, show you the thread, uh, where you can find it at. Uh, if you go to XDA, uh, and if you look under uh, the 6P, uh, Nexus 6P, let me see. Oh, let me uh, go under my favorites. But anyways, if you search uh, the uh, Huawei Nexus 6P, uh, if you go under the Android development, uh, this ROM that I'm running is actually called, let me find it. Uh, it is called, oh, here it is, Weta, W-E-T-A 7.1, okay? Uh, you can see the uh, developer's uh, name. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Uh, and I was looking through a couple of the uh, the Android 7 ROMs. Uh, I went with this one uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one being, uh, again, it was rooted. Uh, it does support multi-ROM. Well, the, the ROM doesn't. Uh, the kernel I'm using supports multi-ROM. Um, but, it, you know, you just have to look through uh, the... You know the log, uh, you know the build log, and see what all is included in it, um, and you'll understand why I went with this one. Um, of course, you guys could probably go with whichever one you want. Uh, I just like it. One of the main features features that I like about it is it's got the three minute battery mod built right into it. I love that. Uh, not only does it have the uh, three minute battery build or the three minute battery mod built into it, it also has. Um, the three minute clock settings so uh, it's really cool because you download you download and install the ROM and then you uh, download and install the upgrade package or the extras package and the extras is an aroma installer where you can install the three minute mod the three minute clock uh, you can uh, turn off the or uninstall the uh, not the Viper for Android but the Atmos I think it's called uh, if I can find it um, yeah, anyways, it's got, yeah, the Dolby Atmos, uh, it does come with that, but you can install, uninstall that through the, uh, Aroma installer. Uh, just thought I'd show you guys that as well. Uh, again, Android 7, if you guys aren't familiar with it, a lot of the notifications under it, uh, you, they're all grouped now, uh, into groups, like, say, if you got Gmail, uh, they all come in, and they're grouped into one little section, your Gmail section, your messaging section, stuff like that. Um, that's how it's laid out. Um, also, notice the animations on the drop down. Uh, these are the tiles that I have set for the drop down, uh, and in, and for you to uh, change that, uh, basically you just hold on the. Yeah, see how it removed it? Well, it's asking me to remove it. I'm going to cancel that. But if you did that for the first time, it would uh, give you your system UI tuner down there. 
So we are going to go back into the settings because I want to show you guys how to add tiles. It's very simple. You just hit the edit button. And as you guys can see, I've added pretty much all the tiles that I can add onto it. And that's because I was playing with them. Um, and it's very, very easy to add a tile. Uh, I unlocked the Easter egg, so I'm going to go ahead and slide that. I'm going to slide that up here if I can. <laughs> it's not letting me. Okay, anyways. Yeah, like cast. I'll just, just put cast up there like that. Uh, I will remove the, let me see, we'll remove show out layout bounds. We're going to go ahead and remove that. I'm going to see if I can't put this up here. Yeah, there we go. And, and that's pretty much it. And when you're done, uh, you just hit the back button. Uh, everything gets saved. Uh, there's that kitty cat I put in there, uh, you know, and all that. So, I mean, it's really cool the way it's uh, done. You do have your quick settings, uh, you, your, your quick bar uh, right up top. So you could put a lot of your uh, apps that you're throwing, you know, that you, you, that you use a lot. You can throw them in there. Uh, I, I did notice that the battery, uh, the battery usage is very, very good on this. Now, I am running a custom kernel, uh, but I didn't notice <laughs> that's my other uh that's my nexus 6 getting a message uh, i didn't notice any uh major drainage or anything stupid uh, as far as the battery goes uh so uh you know and you guys know me i don't do sot times i just don't believe in them every every um, um device is different everybody uses their phones different so you know it's just the way it is um when you go into the settings first thing you're going to notice uh there are suggestions uh, they come like that, and it's telling me to, for me to use my voice to unlock the phone or even just to set up OK Google right now. Uh, now, I'm not going to do that right away. Um, and if you want to hide them, you just hit that little arrow. It'll hide it, um, you know, or you can leave it show. Uh, under display, now these are the display settings. Uh, you, you have your ambient display, uh, tap to wake. Uh, font size, which is really cool. If you go into font size, you can change it. Uh, and what's nice about it, it gives you this, um, you know, this uh, example up on top there. So if I change my font size, it's going to change it. It's going to let me see what it looks like. That way I can decide whether or not this is what I want or, you know, or not. You know, if, if I want to go with the default size or maybe even drop down uh, to the small size, which is way too small for me. So, I mean, that's about right with this 6P. Um, the screen size on it is very close to my Nexus 6. So, uh, you know, the, the stock font size is very good as far as I'm concerned. Um, again, with the display size, same thing. Uh, this basically changes your whole display. Uh, again, you have a representation of that right on top. Uh, you can, you know, when you change it, uh, it shows you what it's going to look like. Uh, so, you know, that way you can decide whether or not it's for you or, you know, or not, or if you want to go smaller or larger. Uh, I am going to go back to the uh, default size again. Uh, the screen size for me is just right, so it's uh, it's that's right where I want it. Uh, you're going to have cast underneath that, uh, and it does come with the uh, the VR mode. Uh, so when VR is out uh, for this, uh, you're going to be able to have like uh, well, if you guys know anything about VR, which I don't, and I don't profess to know anything about it, uh, I do know that it's uh, you know it's it's that virtual reality you use with your phone, you use with those little headsets that you put on. Um, I haven't had a chance to try it yet. Now this phone is, uh, I think, is going to be the right phone for me to try it. So as soon as I can, I am going to try it. Uh, and I will let you guys know how that works out. Um, let's see. You have your notifications. Uh, again, notifications are per app notifications. You can get in there and you can pick uh, which app is going to have notifications, what kind of notifications. Uh, then next up is going to be your sound. Uh, again, these are your volume settings. Um, you can change your ringtone, your uh, notification tones, uh, and of course your alarm tones. Uh, you have your emergency broadcast, and then uh, under other sounds is going to be uh, your locking sound, you know, screen charging, all that. Normally I have these off. Um, I should have shut the vibration off because I'm, I'm betting you guys are hearing a little tap every time I touch the screen. Uh, let's see. Um, that's about it uh, as far as the sound goes. Sound settings. Um, trying to think here. Under security, yeah, I want this is something I wanted to bring up too. Um, now the next 6P comes with a fingerprint scanner on it, which is awesome. It works great. Um, 
I know, I, I, and I knew it was going to work great right? because I have a, uh, uh, I have an Honor 5X, uh, which is also from Huawei, and I can tell you right now, uh, they have one of the fastest fingerprint scanners that I've ever tried. Um, so it's working great. But what's really cool about this is if you go under Smart Lock, uh, it's going to give you options. And uh, what's really cool is you can actually use Trusted Face. Uh, and I'm not going to use it because I don't want you guys to see my ugly mug. Uh, but if you hit that, basically what's going to happen is there's going to be a circle comes up. You hold the phone about eye level, uh, let it do its thing. It takes about 10 seconds for it to scan your face. Uh, then it's going to throw that in there, and then it will unlock your phone whenever you pick it up and uh, hit the power button. And if it sees your face, it'll just unlock it instantly. So it does work. It also has the uh, on-body detection. So apparently if it's on your body, um, it's, it's not going, you know, it won't go into the lock mode. Uh, you do have your trusted places. I actually have it set up for home mode, uh, and it works great. I don't have to unlock it with my fingerprint or, you know, uh, put in a password. Uh, it knows I'm at home, uh, and it just stays unlocked for me, which is really cool. Uh, trusted devices, uh, I didn't get a chance to use that, but you guys can go ahead and try that out. And then, of course, trusted voice. I haven't tried that out yet neither, but I will. Uh, and when I uh, get a good representation on whether or not that's going to work, how well it works, I might just post something uh, underneath this video and let you guys know. Uh, as you guys can see also, uh, I am running unencrypted. Um, at, you know, if you see encrypt phone, that means it's asking me if I want to encrypt it. Now, if my phone was encrypted, uh, it would just say encrypted right underneath there. So, um, again, WUGS, uh, actually, I didn't even use WUGS for that. Uh, I tried it again, which I shouldn't have, and it threw me into a loop, and I had to manually boot back into twerp, and I got out of the boot loop by just, you know, manually booting into twerp. The easiest way, guys, to get rid of forced encryption or to unencrypt your phone is doing what the device is going to do or the tool is going to do and that is going to be just to format your data that's the easiest way to get out of being encrypted then once you're uh, unencrypted you've got to remember to either run a kernel that is non-force encrypting or run the FED patch um, V8 patch uh, it'll work on the Nexus it'll work on pretty much any of the Nexus devices alright guys I'm babbling I'm moving on I'm trying to make this as short as possible uh, let's see, I don't think anything else under here I haven't discussed before. You have your screen pinning all the way at the bottom. Um, you know, accounts, Google, language and input. Uh, again, this comes with the Google uh, keyboard, and I do have my Google keyboard set up, uh, which I'll show you that later. Uh, developer options, I'll run down quickly, let you guys see what developer options look like. Um, pretty much standard affair. Uh, you want to make sure that you do have your... Uh, let's see. Oh, you got your pure color mode, uh, multi-process. You want to make sure that your USB debugging is on, guys, all right? Um, it's just going to help you out of, uh, you know, a jam. If you hit the wall, um, with your phone and a problem with flashing something, and you need to push files through ADB, you need to have your USB debugging turned on, all right? Uh, they do give you the bug shortcut. I don't see a terminal in here. Uh, you can download that from the uh, Play Store. If you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, you'll know what I mean. Uh, and, of course, multi-window mode. Uh, it's just built right into the ROM, and which is another cool thing. Um, I'll show you that as well as soon as I'm done. Uh, now, you, you saw that I unlocked my system UI tuner. Before we get there, I wanted to show you uh, that this is Android 7. Uh, Nexus 6 is, or the Nexus uh, 6P. Uh, the kernel I'm running is called Googie Max. <laughs> All right, yeah, I know. Uh, but I will tell you this: it's working. Um, it does support multi-ROM, uh, and I'm having no issues with it whatsoever. I am running SuperSU 278, which is systemless root, which sucks. You guys know I hate systemless root, but I mean I'd rather take that than no root at all. So you know I'm just actually happy to have it uh, and I, I am running in permissive mode as far as SE Linux uh, is concerned so just so you guys know that uh, system UI tuner this is going to be where you can get to your status bar settings uh, you know what kind of icons you want showing um, also uh, you can actually turn on or off your battery percentage and your battery itself uh, which I have off right now because I am running the three minute mod uh, so I have that turned off um, 
you know, you have your alarm, your time. Uh, let me see, show hours and minutes, default, yes. Uh, these are the options you have for that. And that's about it. Uh, you do have the do not disturb here too. Uh, navigation bars. Uh, basically, what this does is this allows you to move. Man, that just bugging the hell out of me. Uh, this allows you to space out your navigation bars, uh, adjust your settings on it, however you want. Uh, so if I say uh, space, I want to move it like that. Click OK. Uh, then I want to apply changes. Whoops. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Figure out how to do this again. I wanted to show you guys. Adjust button width. There we go. And it's not changing. All right, anyways. <laughs> you guys can play with that. Uh, it was working. Or, oh, you can see the preview up there. Uh, now, if I hit save, see how it moves my uh, navigation bar button over? Uh, now, what I want to do is I want to reset that uh, and then save and leave it the way it is. But this is how you can adjust that. You can also add buttons down here. These are the buttons that you guys can add. So uh, that's what you can do there. Uh, color and appearance. Uh, you have your night mode. Uh, you can actually turn it on. You can have it, uh, you know, be automatic if you want. Uh, you can adjust your brightness. All that. That's under there. And then, of course, you have your uh, your calibrate your display. Uh, that's this is going to be where you can do that at. I uh, can't think of anything else under other. Uh, oh, enable split screen uh, with a swipe up gesture. Um, I haven't tried that. I will tell you that, uh, which we're going to get to, that uh, split screen does work pretty well. So, just so you know. Uh, power notification controls. Uh, okay, yeah, I was in there too. Uh, yeah. Alright, but that's where you guys can get to that. That's pretty much it for the settings. Uh, I did want to show you that um, under recents, uh, if you look at the recents, uh, which is pretty cool because as you quit using the apps, the way it's designed, it's, it just starts shutting off the apps for you. Uh, but if you want, if I want to get into, uh, let's say, um, uh, we'll go to the Play Store. Uh, if I double tap, that's going to throw the Play Store. Or no, it goes to my very last setting. Double tap again, goes to my other last app, which would be, of course, the Play Store. Double tap again, should go right back to settings. So that's really cool the way that works. Uh, also, if I press and hold, it's going to throw that right into split screen, which then you can resize it if you want or whatever. And then you can pick up another app down here. Let's go uh, Team Battery Bar, throw that up there. Uh, so now we're running in split screen, which, again, I think is just awesome. So I want to, if I can remember how to get out of that. There it is. I'm out of it. So there you guys have it. Um, I I think it's very, very cool. I like the ROM. The ROM's running very good. Uh, I'm guessing, you know, with a little bit of further, little bit further development, um, some of the things are going to smooth out on it. I'm sure Android's going to come out with some more updates with it. Uh, but I will tell you right now, I haven't had any issues with it running on the phone whatsoever. And I can imagine that running this on my Nexus 6P or my Nexus 6 or my Nexus 9, uh, I, you know, I'm guessing it's going to run just as good. Uh, I'd love to see this on my Nexus 10. I don't think that's going to happen, uh, but who knows, you know, at least maybe it, when Cyanogen Mod comes out, hopefully Cyanogen Mod will build uh, for the Nexus 10. That would be cool, um, but, you know, Cyanogen Mod, I guess that would be 14. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Anyways, guys, uh, this was Android Nougat. Uh, Android 7. I promised you guys I would give you a video as, as soon as I found one uh, that was um, solid. And remember guys, I don't like to show you anything unless it's going to run. Uh, and this one is definitely a daily driver. Uh, so if you, get, you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I do want to thank all of my subscribers and I will see you on the next one.